For more than seven decades, Oklahoma artist Burt Seaborn has followed his life's journey down a winding, creative path. I got into art when I was like five years old. I knew then I wanted to be an artist. While most children were looking at cartoons, Bert was drawing them, and he sold his first piece when he was only seven. He had a lengthy career in commercial art and illustration for the Navy, later for OG&E, all while working on his own fine art in every spare moment outside the nine to five. Vacations were spent at art shows. But then in 1978, he convinced his wife Bonnie that he could make a living as a full-time fine artist. Today at 70-something, days in the studio start at 5.30 a.m. There is no thought of slowing down, and what's retirement when you do something you don't view as work? I, I try to paint every day some. Uh, I miss a few days, but not too many. His work has evolved through the years. His initial widespread acclaim as an artist probably came from this phase. Native American legends, birds of prey, captured by the wet strokes of a watercolor palette. Today, Bert is drawn to the vivid hues of acrylics and abstract styles he says he's always loved. Well, I never did think I wanted to do ultra-realism. Uh, too many good camera people out there, they can take, you don't need that. And, uh, but I like to paint and, uh, you know, I just, I like a, an unfinished look more so than a, a finished look. He says many young artists ask him about finding a style. He tells them, after about a thousand paintings, your style will find you. Then I left the buffalo just like it was, but then I drug a brush over it. Teaching is something he enjoys, although it too is non-traditional. Classes are two hours of teacher and students painting together, loosely structured, more of a shared creative experience, and everyone learns from each other. I can have a headache, feel bad, drag out to city arts, by the time my two-hour period is over, I'm, I'm well, happy, and uh, you know, ready to run a 100-yard dash, maybe. His work has been included in exhibits at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., and in the Museum of Modern Religious Arts at the Vatican. I've never seen it. I've been over to France and Germany both, uh, England for shows, but I've never made make it to Italy. One of these days. <laughs> Bert Seaborn doesn't seem affected by acclaim or awards or notoriety. He doesn't even seem to spend too much time contemplating his place in the ranks of great artists. He just knows he feels best with a brush in hand, moving paint across a canvas. So I enjoy painting first. And uh, if a painting's not going well, I can, I can hurt real fast. And uh, sometimes I labor over painting days and finally wind up painting it completely out. Uh, then other times I may spend an hour, hour and a half on a painting, and it's a, I think it's a good painting. I think I've done it all, I just want to get better at it. It's that kind of humble attitude with a determined hand, an innovative eye, and a passion for what he does that epitomizes the enduring Oklahoma spirit and makes Burt Seaborn an Oklahoma point of pride.